Today's the day that I'm going to change the pipework that I put in for the grid tie inverter. So as you can see, I used bits and pieces that I had before. Well, I, I, I like it all to be looking the same and that. So what I'm going to do is, is alter it all today. And what, and what I did yesterday was put these two panels together. Now these are both 80 watt panels. And what I'm doing this side here, it'll be attached to the grid tie inverter. And this one here, it'll be attached to the battery in that corner over there. So it's sort of the best of both worlds. But as you can see, blue pipe work and that, um, it just needs altering. Another job on my list as well is going to be repairing this wall. We've had a lot of rain just lately and the ground expanded, so I'll put that on my job list. But this is today's job, changing this. That's where it comes in. And that's a little breaker, oh, a little gecko in there. <laughs> and that's the breaker and then it connects to the outside socket. So by doing that, it goes into the system, the grid tie inverter, if the power goes off, the grid tie inverter goes off as well. So it doesn't add charge to the lines, if you like. But this is only a very, very low wattage, an 80 watt solar panel, so it doesn't give many amps anyway. So this is my job for today. Power safety switched off, and I also like to make sure that these are disconnected as well, so there is no way there's anything is going to get connected. So now that's isolated, I know for a fact that nothing is going to come down the line and uh, electrocute me. So I'm also going to disconnect these. Now these are Wagos. And the Wagos are brilliant. They really are. Far better than the... Uh, far better than the, the screw terminals that you used to get. So I'll do that. And there we go. As you can see behind me, it's a bit of a cloudy day, so so just working in, it's not very difficult or very strenuously hard work, but you sweat like anything over here when you're doing any outside work at all. So I'm gonna not bore you with the cutting and measurements of pipe and things like that, but basically here where it is before, before I actually thread the cable through. So it goes all the way along there. It's going to be tied up on, on the wall, comes across, and it goes into that junction box. So what I'm going to do now is just number the number of the pipes, so I don't get it mixed up when I disassemble them and then thread the wire through. And I'm just threading the wire through, do all the pipe work. I'm about to put a little bit of a bend in the, in the pipe and there was sort of no way around it and I could uh, get around without using one of them. I don't particularly like using the flexible bends on it but on this occasion there was no alternative. So I finished the work for today, done it all, made the connections, did all the pipe work and uh, as luck would have it the sun came out whilst I was working in it so I've been in the sun most of the afternoon. It's a little bit overcast and cloudy and there's the sun. But as you can see what it is, this is the, the panel 
and because it's on top of here that's just a little solar panel I've, I've got for the little light behind there this is a 280 watt solar panels this one does the grid time inverter and this one does the the battery which is in that box there and I've already wired the cable into there so but that, that's another video as you can see of course I'm gonna cut all the loose ends off go down there now I normally don't like to see the pipe work and that but there was just nowhere here to, to hide the pipe work so it comes up through there and that's the main switch and it goes on and it goes into that socket now that's with a grid tie inverter a grid tie inverter you know when it's working because there's a grid tie inverter it's got a little green light when the green light's on it means it's working when the red light's off sorry when the red light's on it means it's not working so that means there's a there's a fault with the panel or the inverter or the electricity has gone off now 80 watt was it worth all of that work for 80 watts so let's round it up to or round it down to about 50 watts an hour uh, the sun shines on that panel for six seven hours a day maybe so say six hours a day uh, that's 300 watts a day 300 watts a day of free electricity so the price is for the solar for the 80 watt solar panel for the inverter all the pipes and bits and pieces like that i'll come up with the prices and i'll put the price up there now when all said and done it, it, it's not a lot not a lot of money to pay out but you don't get a lot of energy back and but i like playing around with electricity and solar and i think solar is the way to go eventually now i said the other panel that i've got the 80 watt that goes towards the battery and that's my battery backup for emergencies in case the electricity goes off i'm going to do another video on that and that will just be dedicated to to the battery backup for emergency power and i've tried it out already a couple of times and it works now this is the cheapest way of doing that for getting a, a battery backup supply which it's never ever going to run the whole house all i want is for two fans to run on it so if it goes off during the night me and the wife have a fan because we don't have air conditioning in the bedroom well we do have air conditioning in the bedroom but my wife doesn't like using it so we use the fans so two fans um i've had one fan running on it all night and as i say it didn't even deplete the battery by 50 percent so it's emergency backup so we can run the tv the internet and a couple of fans now we don't envisage being on for hours and hours and hours but we've got an under amp battery and we envisage just using half of that so 55 watts and my calculations which i'll do again in the video and i'll show you why it makes sense to do that because the brown out here the electricity goes off it doesn't go off all day or all night it just goes off for a few hours and then few hours it's worth the price that i paid because we've had the electricity go off when it's boiling hot and there's nothing to do for two or three or four hours. So have a look at the other video and see what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below. Thanks very much for watching.